Hello everyone, this is yours truly, JBlue68. Today is June the 1st, and we are entering into the summertime now. Very happy about that, but I'm very glad and excited about the month of May, which just passed. Uh, had a lot of exciting things that happened during that month. A lot of exciting activities. Started off with Free Comic Book Day, went into Comic Con. Uh, a lot of good movies that came out, and a lot of exciting comic books. But right now I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, uh, which is actually an unboxing. But really it's not an unboxing because the figures have already been unboxed. But what I am going to do is, of course, show the boxes as you see one of them in front of you. And we'll be discussing one of my favorite topics of one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite series. Um, and that's the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, created, of course, by... Uh, Miss J.K. Rowling. Um, I'm not a fan of the Fantastic Beasts. I've seen the first one, haven't seen the second one yet. Um, uh, I, I can't say I can really get into it. Uh, I, I've tried, and I'll try again. I don't like the fact of them having Johnny Depp in, the, in the, this new series. I just thought that that was a bad call and a bad idea, as I feel he's definitely an overused actor. Uh, there are so many other other creative and unknown talents that could have been used in that role that could have probably brought more um, you know robust uh, energy uh, to the role or something that we hadn't seen haven't seen before you know we always see him playing we've been seeing him playing as Jack Sparrow in the um, was it that uh, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and I think he should have stuck with that I don't really think he should have had any business being in the Harry Potter series. One of the things I've enjoyed about Harry Potter is it uses actors that we don't see very often, see little of, or either are unknown. And that should continue to be the chemistry used. Also, I thought that J.K. Rowling should have explored doing uh, a movie series showing the formation of Hogwarts, probably showing how Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff Gryffindor, and Salazar, Salazar Slytherin actually united together to form the Academy of Hogwarts. And my, in the back of my mind, I always thought a good story would be to show them as rivals, you know, in a prequel, in a prequel series, show them as rivals or enemies with each other, but some greater threat causes them to unite and form an academy. And um, through that academy, fight the forces that are uh, threatening to destroy them. And from there, they form Hogwarts. That would probably have been a brilliant story. They should hire me as a script writer, you know, for that, you know, just saying. <laughs> but anyway, so I thought that would have been a better idea. But anyway, uh, we're not here to discuss that per se, but to show, again, these nice, beautiful figurines, uh, which have been done by, commissioned by the company called Eagle Moss. And I've collected some things from them before. I don't know, I have a very lot of, a whole lot of things from them but here's an emblem there eagle moss you can see it move that to the side there and their website is called herocollectors.com I'll feature it in the description box below um, but there are actually a, several companies represented here today I have several things I'm going to show you uh, from the Harry Potter wizarding world uh, we have eagle moss Hallmark and the Harry Potter.com collection. Uh, so, first, let me just show you the box itself. And this is a box featuring Lord Voldemort. I've already removed the figure. Like I said, this is an, un, un, this is an unboxed video. And you see the window there, which shows where the figure was. Turn it to the side there. And to the back, you can see um, the character himself, play, played by actor Ralph Finn, Finis, or Fiends, or um, I'm butchering his last name, but um, this, the box features a character guide, which I have right here. This character guide. And um, the figurine itself, it also shows in the series other characters that they released uh, from Fantastic Beasts, Akami, uh, Harry Potter, and Hedwig. 
Professor Dumbledore, which I seen yesterday, and I bought these, by the way, in uh, GameStop. They're the only store I've actually seen them in. Uh, Newt Scamander and the uh, Dementor. I seen Professor Professor Dumbledore, and oh my God, it looks just like him. Very good rendering of all the figures. Um, I've been collecting Harry Potter stuff for some time now, but I've been unable to be consistent with them because I collect so much stuff. But uh, I hope to one day have a complete collection of the Harry Potter series. Now this box is a little bit bigger than the box, box which features Harry Potter, and I'll show you why in a moment. But here's the Harry Potter box right here which features an actor Daniel Radcliffe, who, of course, played the infamous character. Okay? The Wizarding World. Harry Potter. Set the back down there. And now let's get into showing the figurines themselves. Isn't that very nice? And this is the dueling scene between Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort. Um, and the, the last movie, I think it was, uh, I can't remember the title of the last one. I'm not sure it wasn't The Deathly Hallows. I have all the movies, by the way, yeah, all of them. Um, but let's show Lord Voldemort in his full sculpted glory. And I'll move the camera up again. Um, holding his wand. That's a pretty good head sculpt there. These figures measure close to about three and three fourths uh, in terms of scale and I'll measure them too in a moment but they're made out of poly stone or either poly resin be very careful when opening them up because um, they are easily break breakable uh, breakable the base that he's on the bottom of the base is made out of I think that is crushed velvet has the name of the character and the series or serial number of this particular character, which I mean, that's, I am believing that's 3087 of these figures have been made. And again, I won't say they're exclusive to GameStop, but I've only found them in, game, in, in GameStop. Um, and I think I said I have three companies represented here. Eagle Moss Hallmark is also represented here. And then HarryPotter.com. But this is uh, commissioned by Eagle Moss. And the reason why the box is bigger is because his robes are flowing outward from the battle scene. Um, and so, of course, they had to expand the, expand the box a little bit more in order for him to fit inside of it. Um, but this is a very nice sculpt here. I really like it. They're not action figures, so they're not posable or articulated. They even have the, the, the uh, veins in the back of his skull there and in his hand, the muscle tone in his, in his hand, in his forearm there, as he's twisting his wand ready to attack. So you can see that and the detail in the sculpt itself. They actually have some weight to them, you know, very nice, They're almost like little chess pieces or something. I absolutely love that. So let's move Lord, Vold move Lord Voldemort back over here. Mr. He Who Should Not Be Named. And the star of the show, Mr. Harry Potter, who also has his wand. And this is Harry Potter as he, he's more of an adult Harry Potter, as he appeared in, I think, the very last film. And again, he's dueling with Lord Voldemort, um, what I like about this particular sculpt is uh, the glasses looks like they were sculpted independently and then somehow, um, I want to use the word glued on, yeah, but glued on to his, into the face sculpt. <coughs> Excuse me. Most figurines, especially when they made, they're made out of poly resin or poly stone, they'll paint any accessories onto the figure because poly stone is very delicate and easily breakable. Well, these are not painted on. You can actually you move the camera so you can see a little closer here. And that gets into focus. A little crooked, and that's actually how it came. That's not something that I did to it. I love the jacket that he has on, his jeans. Uh, he looks like a young teenager or a young man. 
He's no longer wearing the um, Hogwarts um, assigned robes that they have to wear once they enter into Hogwarts. Okay. Very nice there. Very nice. Move the camera back a little bit more. We, we're going to do a 360 turn of Mr. Potter and his battle pose. Ready to fall, fight Lord Voldemort. Turn them facing each other. So you can pose these any kind of way you want. You know, I actually have them in their action poses fighting each other. Um, I'm trying to get all the Harry Potter stuff that I can, but again, I collect so much stuff. It's just, it's hard to get them all. Um, I'm going to put these back in their little scene over here. In the center, you see Hogwarts. This is a Hogwarts ornament, which was actually sculpted by Hallmark a couple of years back. I've had this Hallmark ornament for at least six, seven years now. Um, it actually plays the theme from Harry Potter. And when I end this video, we're actually going to play the Harry Potter theme from the ornament itself. Uh, they are no longer being made. You can find this probably on Amazon for somewhere in a range of about three or five hundred bucks, to be honest. Um, if you have that kind of money to spend. <laughs> but yeah, if you find one cheaper than that, it may or may not be in good condition. But to find one in mint condition, which this one is... You're going to probably pay about, yeah, say, between two and three hundred, maybe three and five hundred for one now. Because again, they're no longer being made. Hallmark has been making ornaments for years now. I've collected Hallmark ornaments for at least 20 years. And all the collector channels that I go to, I never see anyone doing any Hallmark ornaments. I have featured some of the Hallmark ornaments in a video I made some time back, right before Avengers Endgame came out. And it had some Hallmark ornaments in it, which were Ant Man. The Wasp, uh, Gladiator, Hulk, and Thor from uh, Thor Ragnarok. But um, I'm going to do a video about uh, featuring nothing but Hallmark ornaments pretty soon. And actually, when I pay a visit to the store again, I'll probably videotape in the store. But uh, yeah, so we got the Hallmark ornaments, the Eagle Moss figurines. And let's show these right here. One of my favorite, or some of my favorite, favorite Harry Mark, Hallmark not Hallmark, Harry Potter figurines. <laughs> These come from harrypotter.com, the Harry Potter website. Let's see if I can show it there. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, harrypotter.com. Commissioned by Warner Brothers. And I want to show you these boxes, which I like, like a whole lot better than the boxes... Um, that the uh, Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort came in because the boxes are transparent in the front and on the side where if you don't want to remove these figures uh, figurines you don't have to you can see the full sculpt from the sides from the front side again and from the very top see that and that's Dobby of course from Harry Potter the uh, house elf, and they're very. These are very well sculpted as well. Uh, there he is holding one of the magical books in the sock that Harry Potter gave him, which he considered to be a gift. Look how well sculpted that is, man! I swear to God, it looks just like the the, uh, the the character from the movie. This well done, and I have um, a few others from the Harry Potter uh, uh, series. That was commissioned by Warner Brothers. Uh, one of the was a the Green Gots Goblin, and also the Basilisk, which was in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, this these all retail for about nineteen ninety nine, which is not that bad. That's at a working man's price and budget, I think. And they honestly could be uh, they honestly could charge a whole lot more for these. Again. Because most companies charge based upon availability, limited series, but also uh, artists, the artists who contribute to the scopes and how much detail they put into them. These should normally cost anywhere between 50 to 60 bucks a piece. You know, easy. 
because again, they're highly sculpted, highly detailed, very nice. You know, of course, they're not maybe on the scale of something like Hot Toys, you know, but I still highly recommend these for any Harry Potter, any Harry Potter fan, you know, anyone who likes collecting ornaments, definitely. Uh, you will want to add these to your collection. So that's it. That's all, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. I'm going to go ahead and play the Harry Potter theme from the ornament that you see in front of you. Uh, thank you, subscribers. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my chan channel. I'm continuing to grow. Help me get that hundred mark, 100 mark. And peace, love, and Harry. <laughs> yeah, peace, love, and Harry Grease. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, enjoy the music.